Hi, I'm Brett Larkin. Today I'm going to show you a runner's sun salute. So if you run a lot and you want to stretch out after your run and you're sick of kind of doing the typical boring stretches, this is a dynamic stretch that I've cobbled together that feels really great. It's going to target all the spots you need after running. So to start, you're just going to come to a downward facing dog. Down dog always feels pretty good after you've done a run. If you're newer to yoga and the down dog isn't working for you, you can always just be on hands and knees, no big deal. So just begin to pedal out the feet and just sort of slow down the breath. The breath in yoga is so incredibly different from the breath when we're running. So just be conscious of that. Begin bending through one knee and then the other. So I'm just kind of pedaling out the legs. Good, and then how this sun salute works is you're going to take your right leg up and back, so lift it high, bend the knee and stack the hips. Just begin to really flex that right foot and press it against an imaginary left wall. While you do that, spiral your right shoulder down so your right shoulder is not twisted up. Both shoulders are square and even to the mat. And if you're doing it on fours, it'll just look like that. Take two breaths. Good, and then step the foot between the palms so you're in a lunge. Left knee will come to the mat. If you're on all fours, you'll just step up into the lunge and then circle the arms down, around, and up. Good, deep breath in. Take the right hand down and reach the left arm up and over. So you could take the right hand to the hip or all the way down to the floor for a deep side stretch. And then lean back a little bit. So hopefully you feel this going into the psoas on the left side. Last breath. Exhale, frame your feet with your hands and then listen carefully. You're gonna kick off the back foot and you're gonna take this left foot to the outside of the right foot. So your pinky toes touch and your legs are crossed. From here, you're just gonna inhale and bend into that front right knee a lot. Inhale. You might even come up and put your hands on the knee and then exhale, fold forward. And if you have blocks at home, please use them. You can have your hand on blocks or a coffee table. You're bending deeply into the front right knee in order to get a deep stretch on the left IT band. Maybe walk your hands over to the right and then back to center. Walk your hands over to the left. So I'm definitely feeling this in my left IT band. And then inhale, half lift. Exhale, step the foot back in space. You're just stepping the right foot back in space, back where it came from. Instead of dropping the knee to the ground, this time just keep the left hand on the floor, reach the right hand to the sky. Big inhale. And then exhale, step it back, either to all fours or to downward facing dog your choice. You can stay here just pedaling through the legs in down dog. You can come down to all fours, moving through cat cow. Or if you want to do a full vinyasa, moving into plank, chaturanga, up dog, go for it. We'll all meet in down dog or all fours depending what you're doing. Inhale, take the left leg up and back. Bend the knee on the left leg, press the left foot towards the right wall like you mean it. Dip the left shoulder down, press the shoulders down away from the face so the shoulders glide back on all fours. This just looks like this, same thing. Good. And then step that left foot between the palms, come into your low lunge so the right knee comes to the ground. Circle the arms down, around, and up. Try to make your inhales and exhales equal length. And then take the left hand to the hip or the floor so you can reach the right arm up and over. This should feel really good after running. And then try to lean the upper body back and let the pelvis fall forward so you get a nice stretch in the front right So as Exhale. You're going to take the right back foot to the outside of the left foot so the pinky toes touch. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend really deeply into the front left knee. 
and begin to feel a stretch on the IT band on the right side. Again, inhale, half lift. You can just keep the hands on the knees the whole time if this is too intense. Exhale, fold. And feel free to experiment and shift the weight forward and back in your feet. Walk the hands over to the left. I'm going to shift the weight forward and back for a deep IT band stretch. I'm kind of just rocking forward and back. And then walk the hands over to the right. Good, and then inhale, half lift. Exhale, step that right foot back. So again, left leg is forward, knee is off the ground. And then left hand up, right hand on the ground for our twist. And here just work on stacking the collarbone, stacking the shoulders, and dragging the left hip back in space. Good, and then exhale, frame the foot, step it back either to plank, moving through a yoga push-up chaturanga up dog, or again, just hold down dog or do cat-cow on all fours. Good, let's do this one more time a little bit faster. And if you're on all fours, you know how to modify. So wherever you are, right leg up and back. Bend the knee, first just stack the hips while keeping the shoulders square to the mat. Big in breath. Exhale, foot between the hands, left knee to the mat, low lunge, reach the arms up. Exhale, right hand to the hip or the floor, left arm reaches up and over for your side stretch, maybe lean back a little. Good, exhale, frame the foot, kick off the back, left foot, take the left foot to the outside of the right foot, so pinky toes touch, inhale, half lift. Exhale as you fold, bend deeply into that front right leg. Move the weight forward and back. Maybe walk the hands over to the right. Take the hands back to center, over to the left, half lift, and then just take the left foot, slide it back to a lunge, left hand to the ground, right hand to the sky, big twist, keep that back right quad really firm and lifted, exhale, frame the foot, your choice, cat cow on all fours or plank chaturanga. We'll all meet down dog or all fours. Inhale, take the left leg up and back. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Shoulders stay square to the mat. Left foot is flexed, big inhale. Exhale, step the foot between the palms, low lunge. Your exhale, take the left hand to the left hip or the floor, reach the right arm up and over. Big psoas stretch, side body stretch. Exhale, hands frame the foot. You're going to kick off that back. Right foot, take it to the outside of the left foot so pinky toes touch. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend into the left knee deeply. And get a stretch on the right IT band. Move your weight forward and back in the feet. Take the hands over to the left for a deeper stretch. And then walk it over to the right. Last breath. Inhale, broaden across the chest. Exhale, step that right foot all the way back. Right hand to the ground. Left arm lifts for your twist. Glide the shoulders down and back. Huge in breath. Exhale, plank or all fours, chaturanga or cat-cow, and just meet in down dog. Good. And then for an extra hamstring stretch, I just do invite you to walk your feet halfway forward. Take the top of the mat. You're just going to fold it over a couple times. If you don't have a mat, no big deal. And you double wrap the mat so you get the mat as high as possible. So it's like a little ledge. And then step the balls of the feet on the mat. The idea is that the balls of the feet are higher than the heels of the feet. And then inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. This is a really deep hamstring stretch that can feel really good after a run. And then just to take it a step further, and this is optional, I'm going to interlace my fingers behind my low back and make a fist. And then maybe bend the knees a little to get that fist 
up towards the ceiling best I can. Let your chin drop into your chest and be heavy. And then I'm gonna lean my weight forward into the balls of my feet as I press my heels back. Press my thigh bones back into their sockets. So I'm just pressing energetically heels, ankles, thigh bones back in space as I let the upper body fall forward in space. And glide the shoulder blades down and back away from your ears. One more deep breath. Good, exhale, let the hands come down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Unroll the mat. And just come back into down dog or all fours. Three deep breaths. Good, and then walk your feet towards your hands and bend your knees. Roll up slow. So tailbone lengthens towards between the heels. Your head is heavy. Roll through low back, mid back, upper back. Just roll through the whole spine. Roll your shoulders up, down, and back when you get to the top. And hands to prayer. Take a big in breath, out breath. I hope you enjoyed this quick runner sun salute. It's really short, you can memorize it and even do it on your own. If you want more running stretches, I suggest these two videos that have a runner's flow or follow this video up with a series of hip stretches and quad stretches video. Those will really give you a complete stretch after your run. Thanks so much. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it, comment below, let me know how it went, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you over at brettlarkin.com for my free yoga for apps class and more. From my heart to yours, namaste. What if I told you you could be stretching an additional 90 minutes a day without changing anything about your day-to-day -day routine? With me, you'll tour my home, and in 10 exclusive videos, I'll show you the dozens and dozens of hacks that I use so I'm always stretching, gaining flexibility, and constantly feeling good in my body, regardless of whether or not I make it to a yoga class. Creating this course has been a dream come true, and I can't wait to share it with you.